Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and this is part two of my winter cabin journal. I will give you a flip through of that in just a minute and you're going to get step by step how I decorated all inside, what all I added, all of that jazz. So you'll see that in just a minute. I wanted to show you real quickly what I got from the shop yesterday because I so totally needed it. Well, about three things I did need. I need I needed more <laughs> fabric glue, so Fabrifix. Scrapbookingwithme.com if you need any of these supplies. I needed art glitter glue because as you will see through this video, my um, sugar bell bottle almost empty and I'm having to constantly to get my art glitter glue out so I had to get another one. This is the 16 ounce. Um, a glue stick because I'm at the bottom of three right now so stocking back up on a glue stick. The white jelly roll pens. I've heard a lot of you say you cannot get a white gel pen to work on anything. Just does not work. Haven't found anything that works for you. White jelly roll works for me every time. I love these and we now have them in the shop at scrapbookingwithme.com. Yay! So I have a dark cardstock on the back of my journal. I could so put created by Melina on here in this white pen no problem whatsoever. So um, if you are in the market for a good white ink um, gel pen we have those in the shop now. And then I got everything that we carry with the Stamperia um, coffee and chocolate collection. We have four different things. Um, whoops. <laughs> uh, Brandino sent me the um, Prima postcard kit, the Alice in Wonderland one, instead of the... Um, uh, the ephemera of this. <laughs> so that will go back to the shop. These y'all have sold us out of like four times. I've just done another order for these. Um, they've got the stickers and the little postcards on them. There is what's all in it. Cutest little thing, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't ask for that. I asked for the other part of the chocolate and um, coffee and chocolate. But anyway, we have the ephemera in the shop and then this is new this week we have the cards collection so there's seven cards five tags and one bookmark in this and it's got all kinds of little um, ephemera pieces and then card bases tags all kinds of stuff so I love that and then the actual uh, paper pad um, this is the 8x8 and it has all kinds of little um, clocks and coffee cups and pots and all kinds of stuff in it. I love this collection. This is what we used, but it was the 12x12 12 12 version in the last AJ kit was the coffee and chocolate. So if you've got the latest AJ kit, you have some of this in that. And then this is the background papers. I love those just almost just as much as I love the regular papers. Love them. Oh my. I love me some coffee and I love me some chocolate. So this collection's just right up my alley. Um, but yeah, we do have the ephemera pack and um, I will put this back in circulation on the website and um, get me my ephemera pack <laughs> of the coffee and chocolate by Stamperia. Anyway, that's uh, what I needed from the shop or what I wanted from the shop. And here it is, y'all. The winter cabin journal, paper bag journal that I made. Very, very, very beginner friendly. I am excited about how it looks. This little journal come together so easy it's one of the easiest journals i've ever made and so um beginner friendly love that so we started out um with the first video this is a paper bag and then i showed you how i assembled the signature and then we put our pockets at the top instead of the side on the paper bag so we've got a 
top pocket, top loading pocket in the front and the back. And then we've got some cards. We've got some fabric. I decided to go with some fabric that someone had gifted me um, for my front and back pockets. I just have some of the cards from the kit in those. They will um, hold a whole lot more than just those two little cards, I'm telling you. I've got tabs from the kit. Then I have fabric tabs that I've cut myself and put on. And I'm just loving, look at all the pockets. I used almost all of the word labels throughout. Got some tucks using the cards. The little envelopes that Betty Ann made, I've clipped on in different places. Tucks that Mom made. And I'm telling you, this journal will hold so much more, but please don't think that when you're making a journal that you have to fill up every single bit of that journal in the very beginning. That's what the journal's for. Go ahead and um, decorate till your heart's content, then start writing in it, adding your pictures and mem memorabilia pieces, and you'll fill it up in no time. There's a little pocket there on that book page. I've got a double belly band on that one, another tuck there, another one of the envelopes top there, so it's open, it's just clipped on, I could put ephemera or hidden notes in there, I've got another one here, I like the two flaps showing together, just put a little word label on that um, book page. And a fussy cut there, some of the fussy cuts there. Another pocket there made from one of the cards. There's the other envelope. Made a little pocket with another card. Beautiful tag and pocket that Betty Ann and Kara made. Another tuck there. This I just added just for decoration. And then this card, instead of going as a side tuck, I made it a top tuck and just put a scrap piece of cardstock in there. That's another thing I love about this journal is, yes, I used a digital kit, but most all the rest of the stuff that I added into this journal other than the digital kit is all scrap. So I love that. There's one of the um, tickets and a uh, word label and then another fabric pull there. I've still got a few little sticky things so that's why stuff is sticking together. Another one of the little bird cut aparts, fussy cuts, and then another double. Let me get something y'all that will go in behind there. Another double belly band right there. And then this is just decoration and one of the tabs. And then this, I had this pocket left over that I didn't use and I just put it down into that pocket that's on that page. Those little post um, postage stamps on that book page, some more just decoration. And then that last little tag, well, no, second to last little tag there and there. And just a random label at the top of that one and then top of that one and then more cards back here and this fabric pocket very simple very easy very beginner friendly and I hope you enjoy this two-part series I am going to let you see the sped up version I'll talk over it let you know what we're doing throughout it but I hope you enjoyed this start to finish journal y'all have a great day watch my process, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Bye, y'all. So, I decided that fabric pockets on the inside front and back um, covers were going to be the best for this journal. Um, I just really didn't have any paper that I thought would go with it more than solid cardstock. So I went with a gray in the front and then um, I believe it's like a navy smoky blue 
for the back cover. And I just um, used my corner rounder, inked them, slathered them with glue, <laughs> and put those down. And then I used my fabric glue to put the fabric pockets down. I love my fabric fix. It works so well. It is very, very, very icky to get it on your fingers, but um, I say that it reminds me of hot glue, but just cold. <laughs> but it does work very good. We have that in the shop. Yeah, this um, kind of navy gray blue kind of cardstock color is what I went with for that back cover and y'all saw the way i measure i don't get out my ruler i just mark it with a pen and cut no big deal whatever and then same thing on that one i just round those corners and, <laughs> and then swirl it up with some glue and put on my fabric pocket back there. And this is just some fabric that I think someone gifted me and um, I just cut it to size. And then after I let it dry for just a little bit, I will um, go back and use my big Tim Holtz shears. There we go. And I'm cutting away all the excess on there. So I really love the shears for cutting fabric they're so good i love them um this kit was so much fun it was the first time mom me kara and um betty and renfro renfro from betty's custom design kara from kara brand and creations got together and did a collaboration it was so fun so I'm just putting on uh, a couple of die cuts on these fabric pockets and that can be tricky. So here's a tip. Before you start to press down, because you know the fabric is porous, put you a scrap piece of cardstock behind it. Press down up against the cardstock and voila, you don't have to worry about um, getting it all over the place or it closing up your pocket or anything like that so you just put a scrap piece of cardstock or whatever behind the die cut and it takes care of it for ya i love that little tip especially if you work with fabric a lot um and porous fabric which lace you know things like that so here we go again i'm going to put this die cut down on that fabric pocket but for me to press it down and get it to really hold on that fabric, I've got to have something behind it so it doesn't close up my pocket. So there we go. We're just putting that in. We're going to leave it in, let it dry a little bit, and then we'll take them out. So that's a big tip. <laughs> there, I'm just moving it around, making sure that it's um, where it's supposed to be and it's not sticking on the inside of the pocket. Here I'm just inking up some of the cut aparts. This is a tuck that mom made from the kit and already got the little uh, notch in it and everything. So I'm just going to glue it on three sides and put it down on that coffee dyed paper right there. So super simple. I love digital kits that have all the ephemera and tucks and pockets and envelopes and all of that stuff already for you love it it makes assembling a journal so much easier and here i'm just doing the other tuck that was in the kit on that page and then this one this is one of the cards that i made for the kit and i am going to use it as a pocket not just a card to go in a pocket i'm going to use it as the actual pocket so i'm just going to uh, glue that on three sides and put it down on this paper this is one of the back sides of those background papers and i'm just using my art glitter glue that's in the um sugar bell bottle and i put a tag that Kara had made inside the pocket just to make sure that <laughs> I don't have any closed up spaces. Now here's the little envelopes that Betty and Renfro had made and I am awful at folding but these were very easy to do. I'm just figuring out 
if it will look good there and I really like it. So I'm gonna ink around the edges and then we're gonna glue the flaps in the back and then we're going to clip this little envelope on and we have two, three, maybe four of these in the whole kit and we will use every one of them in this journal. Love it. So I've got the tiny little um, Tim Holtz clips I'll show you in a minute that I'm going to put it on with. I put one of the little word labels on the front of the envelope and there I am gluing the flaps down and then <laughs> making sure that um, I'm not gluing on the inside of the pocket, of course, and <laughs> had to redo the flap. And now I get the tiny little Tim Holtz clips and I'm going to put it on there just like that. And it is removable. You can add all kinds of ephemera to it. You can add secret journaling in there, whatever you would like. But I love envelopes just clipped in. Here is another card that I made that I'm just going to put glue on three sides. And yes, I need to refill that sugar bell bottle. <laughs> Just adding in um, that card as a pocket, making sure that the tag fits in there well, and it does. And here I'm making a belly band. Love me some belly band, but not only just a belly band, this is a double belly band. It's gonna have a piece of cardstock just from my scrap pile from what I used in the on the back cover. And we're gonna put that down and then the little strip of tickets that Betty Ann made, we're gonna cut that down to size and add it on to the front of it so it's gonna be a double belly band. You'll be able to get things back behind the blue part and back behind the ticket part. I thought that was very cute. See, look at there. Darling, adorable, love it. Um, now I'm <laughs> checking to make sure that all is well on the front and back cover um, pockets and there it is not. It is very, very stuck. So I have to fix that, pull up and then pull and pull up and pull. Um, I decided let's leave that cardstock in there just a little bit longer, make sure that that is not going to um, stick the pocket to the back cover. That wouldn't be good. Um, I got another little pocket that Betty Ann made. Too cute. Now, I will, like I said, I'm horrible at folding. I will refold and refold this pocket over and over and over and over again. Um, and then I ink it. And um, the way I have folded it, it needed to be trimmed and there you go you see me I'm trimming that down just a little bit and then I ink it and then I put glue on the folded over gussets on the back and add this cute as a pin little pocket and here I love me some pockets in a journal and this journal is teetotally full of pockets so I'm having a little trouble with that tag I get my bone folder and go around on the gussets just to make sure that it's open. And it is. I just wasn't putting the tag in there correctly, I guess. But it's good. Um, I put one of the word labels that I made in the kit. I put that on the page also. As you see, I don't do a lot to the pages that are already decorated, you know, have the cabins and the trees and all of that on them because they're so pretty. I'm not going to do too much to those. I will put a label or two or four maybe on a few of them. But for the most part, those pages I'll leave alone. This is another card I made and I've made it into a tuck, a page tuck. So I just glued two sides down. Here's another one of those adorable envelopes from Betty and Renfro and I'm inking it up. And you've seen me do this already in the video, but it, this is a beginner friendly video and I wanted to make sure to 
pretty much show everything because people have questions and people need to know. And if you've never made a junk journal before, you need to know these things. So this is me assembling another one of those envelopes. Thank you so much, Betty and Renfro, for helping and being a part of this collaboration. I will have all links to the kit in the description box below. I'm putting on a word label on this one too. And then I'm gonna attach it with one of the tiny clips. We have those in the shop at scrapbookingwithme.com. On the edge of that book page, thought that was so cute. And this is the easiest way I have found to decorate a journal is just go page by page by page by page. And yes, you're going to get bored. You're going to get <laughs> you're going to get overwhelmed maybe. Just keep going. You'll be fine. This is some fabulous silver crinkled paper that I've had in my stash for probably 10 years. I kid you not and decided it would go fabulously with this kit <laughs> and in this journal. So I cut it down to make it a pocket for this page and I'm using my little one inch circle punch to make me a notch, just a tiny little notch. And then I'm gonna ink around the edges and I'm gonna glue that on on three sides. I love this crinkle paper, I can't even remember what company it was from, where I got it, anything. It's been in my stash for so long. I have no clue. But that just shows you, you can hold lots and lots in that one. So I'm gonna do a little bird, a fussy cut bird that mom made for the kit. I'm gonna put that on there and then we'll put a little word label right below him too. So make it look like it's not just kind of sitting out in thin air. It's sitting on top of the word label maybe. <laughs> Uh, there we go. See, no more bird in midair, which, you know, they can be, but he was looking like he was sitting. So, uh, this is one of the diagonal pockets that mom made for the kit. I'm just going to add that to that back part of the page there. Love the design of this kit. I'm so glad that all of these wonderful YouTubers and business owners decided to hear me out when I brought up this idea uh, a few months ago. <laughs> uh, it was a little confusing at first because I just gave them an inspirational pick and said, go with it, but it turned out fabulous. Uh, right before what I'm doing now, I had put um, one of the little cards on a book page and made a little pocket page there. And now we're going to do one more of those double belly bands. So that's some of the gray cardstock that I had left over. It goes down first. And then we'll put a row of the little tickets on top of that and make it a double belly band just like the other one. So we've got two of these in this one journal. Love this idea. And you do not have to fill up a journal at the very beginning, right when you make it. Don't worry about that. Guys, y'all, no, please. You can decorate and fill up a journal as you're using it, as you're writing in it. Put in your pictures and your memorabilia pieces and your receipts and all of this stuff, your memories, your wrappers, whatever you're using and putting in journals to remember things by. Do it then. You don't have to do every bit of it when you make the journal. Um, I added a word label onto the front of that page there. And then I'm going to use this card. This is one of the cards that I made as a tuck. And it says, Life Goals. Buy a cabin and relax. <laughs> Buy a cabin in the woods and relax. That's a life goal. Yay. Let's do it. So that's going to be a little tuck. I'm just showing you how it would work there. And we've already got that envelope at the top that we did earlier. Put a word label on and go to the next page. Got another one of those little dinky, little bitty, tiny, beautiful envelopes that Betty made. Inking it up, dirtying it up a little bit on the back side. And I'm going to clip it onto that page. 
And then we look at this book page and we think, mm, okay, let's just add a word label onto it and be done with it. And we're good. We're all good. Book pages, y'all, can just be decorative. They don't have to have a function. But if you want to make them have a function, go for it. But a lot of things that you put in your journals can just be decoration. Just like that little bird I just put down. It's all decoration. Just decoration. And I'm fine with that. I like a beautiful journal. I love beautiful things inside of my journal. Whether they function or not, that's totally up to you. So, on the center, this we've made it to the middle of the signature. And the little tickets that I had cut off on those belly bands, I went ahead and used those on the inside of that book page. And fix my ribbon that I put in the middle. And then we've got to figure out, I'm going through just making sure, okay, now I've got this one last envelope. Do I want to use it here or do I want to use it on the next book page? So I'm trying to stay conscious of order and not overloading, you know, all of the front of the signature and not putting anything in the, you know, back part of the signature. So that was me trying to make decisions. Sometimes it's very hard, y'all. <laughs> this little card, when I made it for the kit, I thought it's a little long and it's a little short. I don't know how this is going to be used, but I really like the scene, so let's use it. Well, look at there. I made it into a page pocket. I love that. And it, I mean, it was almost like perfect for that page, too, as far as width wise. So cool. Uh, that is a word label I'm adding on just to that page. That is one of Betty's pages there. And then I am folding up once more <laughs> one of those pockets. And I do believe I use every one of those pockets um, from Betty. I use every one of those pockets in this journal. So I'm just adding that to that coffee dyed paper and uh, that page. And then making sure that the tag works in it. And I think I, yeah, I put on a word label on this one too. And I have it a little off the edge. I really like how it looks when I finish. So word labels are one of my things, y'all. I got to have word labels in my journals. I don't know why. I just love them. And usually when I am making a kit, um, you do not get a kit from me that I create all myself that does not have word labels in it. This is a strip of tickets that Betty made that I am just going to put on this page. It's not going to have a function. It's just for beauty. There it is. Beautiful. Just as a decoration. I love those, Betty. You did so good with those. Love, love, love it. Okay, for this page, I'm thinking, you know, with this, these kind of cards, usually I make them tucks. This one I'm making it a full pocket. So I'm going to glue on three sides and put it down and then add some decoration off to the side of it instead of a tuck and it just kind of tuck it into the side. This one is going to be a full pocket. So I'll do a top load on it. I've got another one of Betty's tickets that I am putting on the edge here and then I think mm, it needs one more thing so I get one of my word labels and I kind of put it on at a little cockeyed kind of angle and I love the way it looks you know all of us are a little cockeyed I'm just saying <laughs> uh, and that's just showing you how I um think the pocket will work and I'll show you at the end what I actually put in there on this book page, I'm just going to add a little fussy cut bird that mom made. That was one of those double um, belly bands that we've already made. This one, I'm thinking decorate. Just decorate it. Don't worry about it having a function. So we're adding the other fussy cut cabin image that mom made for the kit. Glue all over, paste it on, and then I'll add a little word label to the bottom corner of that. <laughs> uh, watching myself go in fast forward. Like this is some um, two times two, I think. You know, 
with my editing software, there's a times two, four, six, and eight, I think. Um, I wish that I could put a journal together this fast. I'm just saying. But I will say that this journal came together very, very quickly. I think I um, put it together, everything from start to finish in two and a half hours. That's pretty good for a whole journal. Um, on this book page, the little post uh, postage pieces that Betty made for the kit, I am adding on to the edge of this book page just as decoration. They were so cute, and I wanted to use them in this journal. Um, there, that's a pocket before that, and then I just put some decoration, a ticket on that page. Here is another page that I'm adding one of the little pockets to beautiful little bird on that pocket way to go Betty beautiful and guess what another word label is <laughs> going on there yay I love it and then this one I thought mm, I can add that no it was too matchy matchy with the cabin so here goes the other little pocket and I'm folding it up. That is on cardstock, so that's why it is taking me a little bit to get it folded like it needs to be. Because it is on cardstock, not just on paper. So it's a little thicker. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> oh, man. And, of course, I add a little word label to this one, too. After I knock over my glue bottle. And then here I'm just showing there the fabric pocket came together. No stickage. Everything's sticking down in there. It's fine. Those are cards that I made for the kit. And then I'm going to go through and add tabs to the edges. So when I'm making a journal, I like whenever I close it up that you can still see a few things on the edges of the pages. I love that look. So mom had made a whole um, strip of tabs for us in this kit. And I decided, yeah, let's go ahead and use them. Even though they're not foldable tabs, I made them um, back to front. So that's another little tip for you, another trick for you. Just um, if, especially if they're the same shape and things, size, you can put them together, glue them together, and then you've got a double-sided tab. Yay! Easy peasy. You just glue the tops together and then pull the bottoms apart. Put glue on both sides like I am here. And then you put it on the page. And it looks just like a double-sided folded tab. And the neat. Another little tip. I hope that y'all enjoy my tips and tricks and all that stuff. And when I don't even measure and I just <laughs> I just put a pencil pencil mark or something on there. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> no measure Melina. <laughs> so I'm putting on little word labels on the tabs because they have a blank little white blank spot. So I'm putting word labels on all of the tabs. And then I figure out, mm, we need a little, little something more because just those three tabs, wasn't cutting it, need just a little extra something. So after I put these word labels on, I decide to grab that fabric that I used on the front cover and we're gonna make us some fabric tabs just a couple just to kind of round out those tabs that are already in the journal so here's that fabric that i used on the front cover i'm going to cut just a strip of it and then i'm going to use my fabric glue and say i'm going to do it like that and we're going to put it on with fabric glue I love how that looks. Love fabric in journal. So that was a must for me. Get the rest of that on and I decide there's going to be one more. 
I've got three that makes four tabs, so let's make a fifth tab with that same fabric. love me some fabric. I know that I get that naturally because mama loves putting fabric. Anybody that does not know, E from scrapbookingwithme.com and Scrapbooking With Me Crafts here on YouTube is my mama. And now for those really big, the tall top loading pockets that we made out of the paper bag cover. I decide, okay, there's something down in there keeping me from getting this paper down in there. So I shove my hand down in the pocket <laughs> and get the paper down in there. I know it's gonna fit. It's just getting past whatever that wrinkle or whatever it was in there because it wasn't any glue. So now I'm folding it up kind of like an envelope fold and I'm just measuring it up against the other one that I've already folded for the back top loading pocket. I'll go ahead and just ram my hand down in there. <laughs> and then I add that folded coffee dyed paper in the back there. And I decide, let's do a couple of tabs. And this is my favorite tab punch. We carry this in the shop at scrapbookingwithme.com. And I used that same silver crinkly paper that I adore, ink a little bit on it, and I'm thinking, okay, I can't glue these on, but I can clip them on with the tiny little Tim Holtz clips and decide to do that at the top of each one of these just to give it a little something something because, I mean, with it being clipped on, it's not really that functional, but it is pretty, so... <laughs> <laughs> and then all of my little clips come falling out of the package. That's usually how it works for me. No biggie. I'm good. So see, look. Even though it's just clipped on, I think it's so cute. I love the little tab sticking out from the top. So now I'm just adjusting it, making sure it looks good and decide, okay, let's cover up the back. Let's go ahead. We got to get the back covered because it just looks like a paper bag on the back. So I get some more of that same blue cardstock and I'm just trying to use up the rest of my fabric glue. That's why I'm putting it on there. That bottle is almost empty so just use that and then I added on some art glitter glue all around the edges just to kind of fill in the chinks and I put that on the back and I think I just add on like a ticket or something up oh, there I am in the shot making sure I'm getting on straight I think I just add on yep a ticket to the back so it kind of looks like a book plate on the back instead of the front of your journal. I've seen lots and lots of YouTubers use book plates on the fronts of their journals and on the spines, but then I just put that ticket on the back and I thought that was cute. Um, I add in my tags and little um, cardstock pieces and scrap pieces. That was another thing I loved about this journal, using up scraps. And they're just extra little journal spaces, journaling spaces. Love them. Adding in Miss Kara Brandon's tags into my pockets. And I think um, I've got some handmade labels that I did in an M Scrapbusters not too long ago that I will add to a couple other pages in a minute. And we'll be done-o with this journal-o. <laughs> I love how it all came together. I love that um, 
most every bit of it came from the digital kit and then what I didn't have from digital kit I used scraps from my stash that's always a plus just adding in a few things to the tucks and oh I gotta find a piece of cardstock to go in this tall pocket here and then I gotta cut it off and then I gotta cut it straight <laughs> Uh, because Lord knows I can't do that. I didn't put anything in the belly bands. If I decide to sell this journal, whomever that gets it can put something behind the belly bands. And then found another card for that last pocket. And then here's those little handmade labels that I stamped uh, in an M Scrapbusters not too long ago. Put one there on the very back page. And then I'll put one at the very front page at the top. Yay. And that is all. That is all the decoration I've done to the inside of it. Hope you've loved this. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a blessed day. Just like it says there on the screen. Have a blessed day. Love y'all. Thank y'all for watching this series of my winter cabin journal. Y'all. Love ya.